Ciao a tutti! Welcome to my channel everybody, my name is Rebeo. Welcome! Okay, so today I'm out and about. It's very autumny today. Autumn is definitely in the air, guys. So I'm going to meet my friend for a, for a coffee and whatnot. And we're going to go to an area called... Something's in my eye, sorry. We're going to go to an area called San Salvario. And this area is kind of hip. It's kind of cool. It's where the, it's where the young kids hang out. Where the, unit, the students hang out and they've got some like different alternative restaurants there so if you're a student and watching this and you're planning on coming to um, Torino for university this is where you're going to, be, going to be spending a lot of time okay in the San Salvario area of Torino it's a cool area I've been there once or twice no I've been there many times but when I first arrived here I realized that this is where the the partying and the drinking happens okay so stay tuned Yeah, yeah, it's a cool day today. Yeah, like but do you have enough? Um... Hey guys, so I've met up with my friend and we're trying to find the location of this restaurant, this um, the cafe. It's the new cafe that we're going to, so it's taken us a little bit of time to navigate where it is. But yeah, San Salvador is it's full of character and it's full of a lot of charm. And there's some really nice, you know, character apartments with really nice balconies. Um, some some parts of San Salvador can be a bit sketchy so at night time you have to have your wits about you when you're walking around especially if you're walking close to the park area but I generally like the area it's got a, a nice vibe nice restaurants and stuff like that so let me show you a little bit more hopefully we'll find a restaurant soon Okay, so the place that we wanted to go is actually closed. We don't know why. Um, it was, it's the consulate building, but in the consulate building, it had like a really nice cafe, outside cafe. And we wanted to go there. My friend saw it on the website and we you know we got very excited, but unfortunately it's closed. So what can we do apart from find something different to a different place, different location, a different bar or a different bar to go to, coffee shop. So we're on our way to do that now. The weather's quite nice. It's definitely warming up. This morning it was quite cold, a little cold, but now it's it's nice. What building is that over there? It's so nice. It's like a razor. Oh, that one. That one. Okay. Yeah, it's like a palace or something. It's a really nice building. So, oh, can you see me? So it's really. Um, yeah, we'll get back to you. What have you got to say, Alison? Say hello. Hi. Alison lives in Italy and how long have you been living there for? Oh, 16 years. 16? Uh-huh. I didn't, didn't no know that. No way. I'm, I've been living there for four. I thought it was something like five or six years. 16 years. Mm -hmm. So Alison's been living there for 16 years and she has a husband and she has children here too. <laughs> so her um, life and her perspective of Italy is very, very different from mine. So... Um, maybe guys maybe if you guys have got any questions about living in italy and um, being a mother in italy or also what's to being a mother or being a wife <laughs> thank you grazie um or being a wife in italy maybe um alison will answer your questions for you you know so um if you've got any questions right now maybe we can do a video together why not because she has a whole different perspective and i know that there's some people that want to move to Italy with children um, or you know in the future have children here so it'd be quite interesting to get that insight from Alison mm -hmm. 
Alison, do you have anything else to say? Mm, nothing else. Nothing else to say. Alright, we'll be back soon. So I got a panini, panino, which is made from egg and tuna. This is very experimental for me, by the way, guys. And a ginseng grande and also a croissant, but it's not really a croissant. It's called um, cornetto di bosco with um, fruit inside. And of course, hot beverages like coffee and ginseng are normally served with like water so i'll drink this after i should have ordered this after actually but you know they bought it all together so i'm not going to complain finished off with my friend she's gone she's gone back home and um i'm in out in the center so while i'm in the center i probably walk around i'm thinking of going to some of the shops because san salvario as i said to you it's it's a, it's a student area they I'll say it's a student area, but it's kind of like a young area, a young vibe. And a lot of students uh, socialise around there because of the bars, as I said before. Um, and, you know, uni area. So this is really a vibe. Um, but it's very close to the centre where all the shops are and stuff like that. So you can get there very easily by just walking maybe 15 to 15 minutes to get there. So on the way, I'll show you guys, I don't know, around maybe. Early here, everybody. It's um, well, then again, it's like three o'clock, three thirty. So, what I'm showing you, don't expect to see lots of people around and stuff like that because it's in the middle of the day. So, of course, the students, if they're back right now, they are studying and people are working. So, it's not as busy. Anyway. So down air at night time on like Friday, Saturday night, you've got a little liquor shop here. Liquor shop? <laughs> where I got that name from. But down here is um, a square where it gets very busy around here at night time. People start to drink and have a good time. And this square is completely packed with young people, I would say. The square here is generally packed with young people. And it's got like a really big church. Uh, let me see if I can get a better view. So people just sit around there with like plastic containers of drink. Mm. It's all quite interesting. You see, in the daytime, I think this area is quite cool. In the nighttime, as I said before, you know, sometimes I clutch my purse. So for reference, it's Lago, you can read it guys, that's the name of the square. <laughs> 